to try to get some more answers, let's bring in former CIA, CIA Deputy Director and CBS News Senior National Security Contributor Michael Morell, who joins us now. Uh, Michael, you know uh, the intel world better than anyone else we could have on this broadcast. So I am curious to know, over these past two weeks with the Chinese spy balloon and now these three unidentified objects, where does your mind go? What are you thinking? So, Tony, um, good morning. Um, I'm thinking that we may have three different reasons here why the Chinese may be doing this. Um, one is obviously intelligence collection of sensitive military sites. But I think a second is political. Uh, we fly many um, surveillance flights, intelligence collection flights, not over China, but near China. Uh, the Chinese can't do that. They don't have military bases close enough to the United States. So I think they're sending a message here that, look, we can spy on you too. And then finally, I think there may be a military purpose. We can't discount that. They may be considering that should we ever go to war, that this might be a way to deliver weapons. Can't forget that the Japanese sent nearly 10,000 balloons toward the United States during World War II that carried incendiary devices. So I think there's probably multiple, multiple things going on here. Well, that, there's a lot to be concerned with in that statement there, the potential for a uh, military weapon, something to deliver a payload. But I want to go back to the spying question first. What could they uh, pick up from that altitude with this type of device? Uh, one of the things you hear, right, is that they might not be getting um, any more intelligence from these balloons than they get from their spy satellites. But I think we can't assume that their spy satellites are as good as ours. So they may be getting uh, photographs, uh, better photographs uh, than they can get from their spy satellites. And they may be picking up um, what we call signals intelligence. That would be electronic emanations, right? Um, that would, would part, in part be, allow them to better target their spy satellites. So multiple things they could be collecting. Michael, I, I know you can't go into specifics on the intention of both sides, and you touched on it a little bit, but how does what U.S. does with their surveillance compare to what China has done? Um, Nate, um, nobody should be surprised that both countries spy on each other. Um, we are very aggressive in spying on them in a variety of different ways. Um, the one I mentioned is the one that uh, is probably the most aggressive, that probably bothers them the most, which is flying surveillance aircraft very close to their airspace. Not into it, but very close. They often respond to those flights um, by bringing fighters close. Um, so variety of different ways, right? These are adversaries. We're in sort of a Cold War. A lot of intelligence collection going on. Michael Morrell, we appreciate you. This is very confusing, so it's great that you can help us digest all of this. Thank you so much. Welcome.